exercise. Question number one. A. Complete the following sentences using words from the brackets. Number one. Major part of Malwa Plateau falls in the state of dash. Your options are Maharashtra, Goa, Madhya Pradesh or Himachal Pradesh. The answer is Major part of the Malwa Plateau falls in the state of Madhya Pradesh. Number 2 Dash soils are formed in regions receiving heavy rainfall. The options are black, laterite, desert and sandy. The answer is laterite soils are formed in the regions receiving heavy rainfall. Number 3. Dash soil formed from the basalt rock is found in Madhya Pradesh. The options are laterite, black, red and sandy. The answer is black soil formed from the basalt rock is found in Madhya Pradesh. Number 4. The Chambal Badlands are also known as Dash. The options are deep gullies, stony plains, ravines and caves. The answer is the Chambal Badlands are also known as ravines. Question 1 B. Match the words from column A with column B. The matching pairs are number 1 Ujjain, ancient cultural capital of Malwa region. Number 2 Gurushikar, Aravali mountain. Number 3 Vindyachal, Madhya Pradesh. And number 4 Chota Nagpur plateau, rich in minerals. Question number 2. A. Give geographical reasons. Number 1. Rural settlements in the peninsula part exhibit mixed types. The answer is The types of rural settlements depend upon the nature of relief, soil fertility, water supply, and socio-economic development. In the hilly Aravali region, hamlets are widely dispersed, while in the fertile flat areas of Bagalkhand and Chhattisgarh, the rural settlements are compact and clustered. The Malwa region, owing to its fertile soils, has large clustered settlements. In the ravine tracks of Bundelkhand, the favorable and protected sites are occupied by large and compact villages, while bad lands are marked with dispersed settlements. Thus, rural settlements in the peninsula part exhibit Mixed types. Number two, there are many environmental problems in Central Peninsula Plateau region? The answer is The main environment problems in the Central Peninsula Plateau region 
are related to deforestation, mining, industrialization, power generation, urbanization, movement of vehicles and development projects. Forest cover in the region is shrinking due to indiscriminate cutting of trees. Development projects, mining and transport development as well as expansion of agriculture have greatly diminished forest cover. Due to lack of clear cut mining policy, miners devastate the environment. They are under no obligation to level the area and plant new trees after closing the mine. Mineral dust, blasting, mine fires, etc. have adverse effect on the health of the residents near the mines. The region has number of thermal power plants which pollute the air and neighboring water bodies. Thus, there are many environmental problems in the central peninsula plateau region. Number 3. Laterite soils are formed in regions receiving heavy rainfall. The answer is Heavy rainfalls leaches out all soluble materials from the top layer of the soil leaving behind a high proportion of residual insoluble iron and aluminium oxides in the soil. Such soil is called laterite soil. It is formed in regions receiving heavy rainfall. Number 4. Mining activities are well developed on the Chota Nagpur Plateau. The answer is Mining activities are well developed on the Chota Nagpur Plateau because it is a storehouse of minerals like mica, bauxite, iron ore, copper, limestone and coal. The Damodar Valley's central basin in this region has massive deposits of coal. It is considered to be the prime center of cooking coal that is bituminous coal in the country. Jharia, Rani Ganj, West Bukaro, East Bukaro and Ramgar are important coal fields in this region. Question number 2 B. Write short notes. Number 1. Major sources of irrigation on central highlands of India. The answer is the central highlands of India are mostly dependent on rain for irrigation. Even though the major sources of irrigation in Bundelkhand are wells, the water in the wells depend on the rain. Ponds are the second major sources. They are well scattered in the region. They provide water for drinking as well as for irrigation. These traditionally existing ponds maintain the water table in the region and also in the wells. Number 2. 
industries of central highlands of India? The answer is textiles are a major industry in the Malwa region. Indore, Ujjain and Nagda are its main centers. Handicrafts are also an important source of income for the tribal population. Colored lacquer ware from Ratlam, rag dolls from Indore and papier mâché articles from Indore, Ujjain and other centers are well known. Madhya Pradesh is the sole producer of white and red colored slate in India. There are many centers of large and medium scale industries. Indore and Ujjain are well known among them. Indore produces diesel engines on a large scale. Pitampur, an industrial town near Indore, has a heavy concentration of automotive industry. Indore is the main commercial center of Madhya Pradesh, trading in textiles and agro-based products. Number 3. Malwa Plateau. The answer is The Malwa Plateau is located in the southwestern part of the central highlands. Its average elevation is 500 meters. It is characterized by low relief and undulating topography. At places it is spotted with low hills. Its major part lies in Madhya Pradesh. It is located between the Aravalis in the west and the Vindhya range in the south. It is a source region of rivers like Mahi that flows into Gujarat and the Chambal and Betwa rivers which flow northwards. Question number 3. Answer the following questions in detail. Number 1. Explain divisions of central highlands in detail. The answer is the peninsular region extending from the southern border of the north Indian plains up to the Narmada valley is called the central highlands. It mainly comprises the peninsula area that forms a part of the Ganga River Basin. The Aravali mountain range, East Rajasthan upland, Malwa Plateau, Bundelkhand, Bagelkhand, Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Vindhya range are the divisions of the central highlands. Their locations are as follows. The Aravali range in Rajasthan forms the western boundary of the central highlands. It stretches in the southwest northeast direction. The east Rajasthan upland and the Malwa plateau border on the Aravali in the east. To the northeast of the Malwa plateau lies Bundelkhand spread in the northern Madhya Pradesh 
and the adjoining part of South Uttar Pradesh. It forms a part of Yamuna River Basin. The Malwa Plateau is located in the southwestern part of the Central Highlands. Its major part lies in Madhya Pradesh. Bagelkhand lies to the southeast of Bundelkhand and east of the Malwa Plateau. It lies in Madhya Pradesh and northern Chhattisgarh to the north of the Vindhya Range which spreads from the western Madhya Pradesh to Bihar. The southern margin of the Vindhya Range defines the edge of the Narmada Trough. The Chota Nagpur Plateau at the eastern end of the central highlands lies mostly in Jharkhand. The central highlands are wider in the west and narrower in the east. Most of the rivers such as Banas, Chambal, Sindh, Betwa, Dhasan, Kane, Tons and Sun draining the highlands flow towards the northeast. Mount Abu in the Aravalis and the ravines of Chambal, the Marble George of Narmada and the Kaimur Escarpment are some of the noteworthy landscapes of the region. Number 2. What are the characteristics of agriculture in central highlands of India? The answer is The following are the characteristics of agriculture in the central highlands. Number 1. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people on the plateau region. Number 2. Cotton and soya bean are important cash crops. Number 3. Wheat is a major crop of the region. Apart from it, rice, jawar, maize, bajra and pulses like gram, moog and urad as well as oil seeds are also produced. Soya bean is also a major crop because of its cash value. The economy of the whole region is predominantly based on agriculture but factors like poor fertility of land, low productivity, lack of irrigation facilities and non-use of modern methods have hindered the development of agriculture in the region. Question number 4. Mark and name the following on the outline map of India with a suitable index. On the outline map of India, we find Aravali Hills here. Here is the Bundelkhand. And here lies the Malwa Plateau. This region represents the Vindhya Range. And this is the Chota Nagpur Plateau.